It's called The Vault, the FBI's digital reading room, where any of us can go online and view the Bureau's most notorious cases. Guess which is the most popular file? John Dillinger's? Jimmy Hoffa's? Nope. Since we opened The Vault, uh, it's been this memo um, about flying disks or flying saucers, and it relates to an allegation that we heard from a third hand you know, saying that the Air Force had found a couple of, of saucers out in the New Mexico desert. No, no, can't be. I mean, most people want to read about Machine Gun Kelly and Al Capone, right? You would think so, but this memo itself has gotten over a million page views in two years since we've put it up. Al Capone uh, doesn't make our top 50. The memo's all of two paragraphs. Agent Guy Hoddle, then head of the FBI's Washington field office, writes that an Air Force investigator stated that three so-called flying saucers had been recovered in New Mexico. They were described as being circular in shape with raised centers, approximately 50 feet in diameter. Not only that, each one was occupied by three bodies of human shape, but only three feet tall, dressed in metallic cloth of a very fine texture. Each body was bandaged in a manner similar to the blackout suits used by speed flyers and test pilots. John Fox is the FBI's historian. This was never followed up on, right? No. In fact, it says right here, no further evaluation was attempted concerning the above. Why not? Um, from what's written here, uh, from what we can read, it certainly looks like they thought that this was you know, third-hand information, that this was not necessarily a hoax, which it could well have been, but that you know someone was simply reporting hearsay. And it was more for the Air Force to look into, along with countless other reports of UFOs in Roswell, New Mexico and elsewhere, reports that were never substantiated. One reason the memo from Agent Hoddle went viral is because when the FBI vault was set up online two years ago, tabloids seized on that memo, saying it appeared to back up theories that aliens exist. And it's not just the Guy Hoddle memo that's a favorite. There are hundreds of other pages of memos and files in the FBI vault in the unexplained phenomenon section all about alien and UFO sightings that are more popular online than the FBI's files on Bonnie and Clyde, serial killer Ted Bundy, and other famous cases. Cases involving Osama bin Laden, investigations into the murders of civil rights leaders, all part of FBI lore. Fox says out of all the strange cases he's come across... The descriptions here of, you know, 50-foot diameter saucers and human-shaped, three-foot-tall, metallic-clothed <laughs> uh, aliens, that, that's unique. And we can say a little frustrating for FBI officials who say it diverts attention from all the work they've done, all the dangers they've faced through the years to capture fugitives and solve the nation's most difficult crimes.